2021 was a year of political turmoil, perhaps unlike any other in American history. And it all began, Major Garrett tells us, with a phone call. It's also clear that we have won Georgia. One year ago today, President Trump set in motion his most brazen effort to overturn election defeat. I just want to find 11,780 votes which is one more that we have. In a recorded phone call, he told Georgia's Republican Secretary of State Brad Raffensperger he could face unspecified criminal charges That's a criminal offense. if he did not bend. That's a big risk to you and to your lawyer. I listened, That's a big risk. but I also knew that you can dig all you want, Mr. President. We have the facts, and I'm, and I'm sorry you lost. Did it shock you? I was going to make sure that we followed the law and we followed the Constitution and I wasn't going to be swayed, pushed, or deviating from that. Raffensperger recounts that call and the turbulent months after the 2020 election in his new book, Integrity Counts, distributed by a division of Viacom CBS. Raffensperger was dogged by accusations that he helped steal the election from Mr. Trump. He faced death threats. His wife was threatened with sexual violence. Raffensperger, a lifelong Republican and conservative who voted for Mr. Trump, felt hunted by fellow Republicans. What's that been like? You watch yourself, you watch your back, and uh, you start looking for people's tells. What is that? Oh, is there anything on the side of their hip? Things like that. Raffensperger also got a dog. Is it a guard dog? No. Okay. He, he, but he's uh, an awareness dog. They steal and rig and rob. Baseless allegations of fraud in Georgia and other states, amplified by Mr. Trump. This election was stolen from you, from me, and from the country. Fueled the violent capital siege. They were misled. They were deceived. They were given falsehoods about the results of the election. Those falsehoods were on display in full color in Maricopa County, Arizona, where the GOP-controlled state Senate sponsored a so-called election audit last May. It concluded Mr. Biden actually won with more votes than originally indicated. I pledge allegiance. A summer symposium on 2020 election fraud conducted by the CEO of MyPillow yielded no evidence. Even so, 2021 saw 19 states, most led by Republicans, tighten election laws. One irony of all this? The conservative-leaning Heritage Foundation found four of the states President Trump most vociferously contested had some of the nation's most secure voting procedures. Helen Butler is a proud Democrat who served on the Board of Elections in Trump-friendly Morgan County, Georgia for more than a decade. Republican county leaders there recently enacted new rules, allowing them to purge board members, including Butler. If you reconstitute the board with a lot of members that are made up of by one political party and the political line of that party is that you have to change the outcome of the election to keep someone in power, this is a way to do it. Meaning, as the old saying goes, it doesn't matter as much who votes, it matters more who counts. I see it as we didn't get it done this time but next time I'm going to get it done because I have total control of the election process. Threats of violence still stalk Americans who did nothing more than count ballots. This is where it would start. So One of them is Tom Freitag, director of elections in Bucks County, Pennsylvania. Angry calls, threats. What kind of things are we talking about? Uh, we received uh, one email that said that uh, we would all hang for treason. Bucks County is a swing county in a swing state. Mr. Trump won Pennsylvania by 44,000 votes in 2016. He lost by nearly twice that many in 2020. There's going to be high-speed scanners over here. We have 10 of them. We met Freitag in September of 2020 when he was working round the clock to build a vote counting facility from scratch, all to comply with staggering new demand for voting by mail. Tom, I love what you've done with the place. <laughs> Thanks. It's a lot different than the last time you were here. How did it all play out? I mean, we were all nervous going into it. Overall, I think it went really smoothly with the hand we were dealt. And yet, the threats and bullying continued for a full year. Are you frustrated so much that you might quit? There's been days where I wonder why I'm still doing this. <laughs> I don't think I've gotten to the point where I want to quit just yet, but there's been days where I 
really don't want to come into work. This is not something I've seen in the history of this country, except for the before the Civil War. Bob Harvey is an elected county commissioner in Bucks County. We asked about January 6th. If you wanted to destroy democracy, the first thing you do is turn members of that country against each other. And the second thing you do is to get people to start doubting the validity of the elections. Doubts. They circulate the country as a contagion of conspiracies. If you count the lawful votes, Trump won Wisconsin. Wisconsin, long a hotbed of hard-fought and very close elections, is in the throes of a secretive Republican-led investigation into voter fraud in 2020. I am a Republican. We can't continue to beat a dead horse. We need to move on. State Senator Kathy Bernier, a former election administrator herself, is a loud Trump supporter and among the most conservative voices in the legislature. Were there voter fraud cases? Yes, there were, and they're being investigated now. But there was not organized, widespread voter fraud in the state of Wisconsin that anyone has provided proof of. Uncover what occurred in 2020. The man leading the effort to find it, Republican State Assembly Speaker Robin Voss, declined our interview request for this story. For some pro-Trump Republicans, contesting or denying the 2020 result is no different than Democrats refusing to accept Mr. Trump's election. There has been no collusion. No less harmful, they would say, than persistent allegations of Russian collusion. There's no collusion. Bernier accepts Biden as president, but... The Democrats are just as guilty as the Republicans for perpetuating misinformation or outright lies. Secretary of State Raffensperger, in general, agrees. These stolen election claims, what they do is they undermine voters' confidence in the election process. He's more focused now on his next election, a GOP referendum of sorts on election denialism. His opponent, Congressman Jody Heiss, The election conducted on November 3rd was faulty and fraudulent. objected to certifying Georgia's election results. How do you feel about this coming up, the primary? Well... See, I can stand on the truth. What's he going to stand on? Heist declined our repeated requests to speak with him. I think at some point people have to face the brutal truth of what the election results were. Do you feel that on this particular topic you are howling into the wind? Well, like a voice in the wilderness? Yeah.